So all of our coats are complete. Uh, the next step is going to be uh, burnishing the wood with some steel wool. So I'm using this brand here as one I happen to have. Uh, the only important part is you get super fine. For aught, zero, 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 zero. And we're gonna take one of these. And it's already a nice, kind of a squarish form. And you take your wood here. And you, when you feel it, you feel it's not quite perfectly smooth anymore. Just a little bit of roughness. I don't know if that's just, you know, it absorbing a little bit of moisture and stuff after that. It's pretty smooth, but it's not as smooth, smooth as when you first finished it. You still got that nice glow there in the wood. So you're just going to take the steel wool here. I'm just going to burnish it, and I'm going to just try to do half and see if we can see it visual difference here. I can definitely feel a difference. I don't know if that'll show at all. So this half over here now feels a little smoother than this has these tiny little pinpricks. So we're basically just going to do that for the whole piece here. This just helps knock down any imperfections from the finish. If it didn't get perfectly uh, wiped off. And I've seen before, this one seems pretty good. Like this edge seems a little rough. So if the steel wool can't get that flat, I'll actually go over that with some 320. And it'll look kind of scary at first. You might see a bunch of scratches and you think you ruined the finish, but once you put this final coat of wax on, those will be gone, it'll be fine. Yeah, that feels good. All right, you can see there, that one corner there is a little shiny still. I'm just gonna try to go over that until I can get that shine down. Just all be sort of the same even dullness. Not too worried about the back, but I'll give it a quick once over. It feels good. All right, so I'll just do the other two boards here real quick. Uh, I'm not going to rest this on here because I mentioned like those the tips of those triangles might leave a little dents and I definitely don't want to leave dents in the front side so I'm just going to hold it here for the side. If you can see there, there I can see a difference in the sun coming in. This line here, where I steel wool when I have it yet. And uh, you probably want to give this a once over, maybe take a clean cloth. I just kind of use my hands. You can brush off and kind of fill a little bits of steel wool that are still in there. So you just kind of, kind of rub those off.
This is the back side, so I'm not too worried about this side. But I'll do a better job on the other side and the edges. And this will be that point where I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos that you go through all this and then you steel wool and it looks kind of dull now. Like now, now that you've seen it, that super wet, juicy look, it's going to look a lot less nice now. <laughs> but as soon as we put that final wax coat on, that'll all come back. And uh, so don't feel too depressed at this stage. And here you can just kind of run through and you can feel any spots that haven't quite been knocked down the same like this corner. It's a little bit still. You can feel it a lot easier than you can see it. Up here I'll do a little more but uh, yeah that's it for this one so then we'll uh, I'll assemble this and then I'll put on the final coat of wax that's when everything's gonna really pop so we're here in the final stage uh, so I've wrapped my speaker with that wood and now we're ready to apply the final coat of wax and we're gonna use this Howard feed and wax it smells really nice looks really nice beeswax and orange oil, and just another rag, cotton rag. Uh, so we're gonna wipe it on, wait about 20 minutes, wipe it off, and that's it. Uh, depending on how warm it is where you are, this may be more or less solid. Mine's pretty liquidy here, it's pretty warm today. So I'm just gonna roll myself up a nice little applicator pad here, and put some of this on. And you know that wet look that it had when we first put the finish on this will sort of give it that a little more permanently now That's it. So wait 20 minutes, come back, wipe it off. 20 minutes passed. So now we're just gonna wipe it down. And just gonna have the rag, nice big one so we can fold it over a few times. And you can see when we wipe it, it sort of keeps that nice shine to it. It doesn't get all dull. That's it, the best woodworking finish ever. Uh, you might notice after a couple weeks or a month or so, that it won't feel quite as silky smooth as it used to. Um, I don't know if that's just the wood kind of absorbing just a little bit of moisture through the finish over time. So what I'll do is go over it with uh, 320 real quick, just with the grain, and it'll look really bad when you first do that, but then you put on another quart of this orange oil and it looks great again. Um, and this wax finish will sort of kind of dissipate and fade after a little while. So maybe like every year or something, put another coat on. But yeah, keeps stuff looking great. That's it.